hi guys uh, today's video I want to share with you how I cook my sweet honey glazed ham these are the ingredients you need 7 to 9 pounds spiral ham 4 tablespoon of butter 2 tablespoon of Dijon mustard 1 half cup of honey 1 third cup of brown sugar 3 fourth cup of pineapple juice and 1 tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with 3 teaspoon of water okay guys let's unwrap our ham and then take out the plastic and existing uh, water and place it on the uh, baking dish and then uh, let's cover it with uh, foil paper and make sure you cover the whole uh, pan and then place it on the oven let's let's bake it for 350 degrees fahrenheit for 45 minutes the glaze coming from ham uh, we don't need it anymore since we have our own glaze so let's heat up the pan and start making our glaze sauce now our pan is hot let's add our uh, four tablespoon of butter and then uh, let's wait until it's melted next we're gonna add the one half cup of honey as you can see the honey is very sticky and i'm having a hard time taking it out uh, the trick here is to spray oil on the cup before you add honey in that way uh, you will not have the same problem like i do and then once you're done continue to stir and then add the 3 fourth cup of pineapple juice and then just continue to stir to make sure all is mixed properly next uh, we're going to add the uh, one third cup of brown sugar Okay, next we're going to add the two tablespoon of mustard. So in this part, guys, you will notice that mustard is not uh, going to dissolve right away. So you don't have to worry about it. Just continue to stir. Once the sauce is boiling, then mustard eventually will dissolve. So it's gonna take time. So you have to be patient with this and just continue to stir now our mustard is almost dissolved as you can see let's add the one tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with three teaspoon of water and then continue to stir until we get that thick uh, glaze we want and just continue doing it for five minutes and then after five minutes we're going to turn off the heat to cool down and then separate the sauce uh, in two cup uh, the other one we're gonna use it for our first step and the last one for our final touch now i separate them into cups uh, the bigger one i'm gonna use it first and the, the small one i'm gonna use it for the final touch later now our uh, ham is ready let's take the cover and then take out the juice as you can see we're gonna put our glaze on the ham oh, this, this part is not sliced this part only this part after we're done cutting the last part of the ham uh, let's add the sauce so in this part guys we need to be careful and take our time just to make sure we add the sauce all over the ham in and outside so what i did is i used the brush just to make sure i spread the glaze evenly on the ham so that we have that uh, flavor all over it so just take your time anyway guys uh, if you prefer to have more glaze on your ham 
uh, with the ingredients provided you can add more ingredients on it or you can add up the measurement it is really up to you if you want that way okay after we done putting all the glaze on top and inside of the layer now we're gonna put it back to the oven set it for 350 degree fahrenheit and set it for 15 minutes after 15 minutes is over now our ham is cooked uh, let's add that uh, remaining glaze that we set aside a while ago for final touch so let's spread it all over and that's it and it is ready to serve now uh, it's ready to serve I assure you guys it really tastes good so you won't regret it if you try this recipe my daughter really loved this even my husband and also our visitor liked the taste of it so if you try this recipe make sure to comment down below and let me know how you love it so that's it guys happy holidays and take care and advance happy new year